Hello there, my fellow Utahns. My name is Sam Parker, and I'm running for the United States Senate. I want to make American government local again. I moved to Utah in 1995, and I fell in love with the climate here, the adventures, and the people. And it would be my honor to serve each and every one of you in the United States Senate. I grew up in a little town in Washington called Centralia. My first experience with government came when I was about 11 years old. Our school bus would have to wait for what seemed like forever at this certain intersection to be able to make a left-hand turn. I hated it. It made the long bus ride longer, and frankly, it was just annoying. One day I had the idea to write a letter to the city council and say, hey, I think you should put a stoplight there so that cars can make left turns and they don't have to wait so long. And wouldn't you know, <laughs> they actually did it. They went and checked out the intersection and they put up a stoplight. And that stoplight's still there and it's, it's made the traffic flow there much better for several years now. I learned a really important lesson then on civic engagement and the power of local government. You see, solutions come from people closest to the issues and the problems. They don't come from far away elected politicians and bureaucrats. People whose agendas basically are centered around getting rich and getting power, and who don't care anything at all for the needs of everyday American citizens. Utah citizens are faced with a variety of challenges. Challenges that revolve around things like education, land management, resource utilization, health care, energy generation. There are so many issues that Utahns are faced with. And these issues cannot and will not you know, be, be solved by the runaway federal government in Washington, D.C., or as I like to call it, the District of Corruption. The politicians there are frankly only concerned with their power, getting rich, and serving their special interest masters. And in the process of doing that, they trample all over the Constitution and ignore our rights or take away our rights. And that's just simply unacceptable. They, you know, every day, especially recently, we're faced with, you know, challenges to our Second Amendment rights and privileges. The right to keep and bear arms is not a suggestion. The term arms, in fact, refers specifically to the offensive and defensive weapons of war. It's a general term. It doesn't mean just handguns or hunting rifles or muskets. It means the weapons of war so that we can secure for ourselves a free and independent country. Now, other rights that, are, that, uh, that Washington, D.C. tramples all over our rights that are found in uh, our rights like those found in the Fourth Amendment, the right of people to be secure in their uh, in their persons and in their property. But how on earth can Americans be secure uh, and safe when our politicians refuse to enforce the border and instead provide refuge to lawbreakers and violent criminals? Some call this the language of exclusion. I call it the language of common sense. Why on earth do we want people in this country who don't obey our laws, who don't respect our traditions, and who don't agree with American ideals and don't want to become Americans? We as American citizens have the right, the privilege, and the responsibility to enjoy our cultural heritage and pass it on to future generations. And it is a rich and wonderful cultural heritage. I am not ashamed to be 100% pro-American and say that people who do not believe in America and American ideals should not be allowed into the country. American ideals like liberty, e pluribus unum, and in God we trust. My fellow Utahns, as I said, I am 100% pro-American and I'm not ashamed of that. I am not interested in power or getting rich and wealthy. I am interested in tearing illegitimate power down and clawing back the wealth and the power confiscated by our politicians in Washington, D.C., and sending that back to the states and the people. 
I want to partner with uh, people in that district of corruption. I want to partner with people who are like-minded and who want to restore your civil rights and give you back your money and give you back your land, give you back your resources and give you back and renew your powers of self-determination. Please go to my website, samparkersenate.com. Let me repeat that one more time, samparkersenate.com. On there, you can volunteer, you can donate, you can read uh, in more in-depth my position on many issues, and you can also reach out to me and ask me any question at any time. Please, Utah, join my movement to make American government local again, and together we can put the U back in Utah. Thank you very much.